All right, what is going on, guys? Today we are watching My Hero Academia season four, episode five, I believe. Um, it's going to be a great episode. As we've seen from the preview from last time, saw a little bit of Kirishima and uh, what's his name, Tamaki G, I think, and Fat Gum. Um, well, yeah, really excited for this episode. <laughs> Let's get right into it. Should have recorded properly this time. Oh, what's this? What the hell? That's sick. Oh, it's her. Oh, wow. What do you call it? Cringe wave. Yeah, Jiri Chan. Nice. Oh, cool. Fafarotskis. Or whatever it was. Froppy. That was sick. I love this show, man. They don't just fully focus on the main guy all the time. Number nine. Dragoon. Sweet. Hi, <coughs> <coughs> hi. Hey, hey. Awesome. Ooh. Some big shit's gonna go down. City on it. <laughs> she has a sucky. Let's turn this down a bit. Yeah, as I said, I've been really excited for this episode. There's been hype around this area of the story ever since like it was shown in the manga. Because um, I can vaguely remember what happens. And um, yeah, it's going to be, uh, from what I could tell, it, it's going to be awesome. Um, it's gonna be. I uploaded this video a bit late today, to be fair, because I was a bit busy today. But I did. I did want to hold off and watching it until I could properly record it, because it's gonna be sick. Mm -hmm. Will the entire Will the entire focus of this episode be about? Kirishima and Co. Or I don't know. Every time I watch the opening, I find I like notice like new things. I'm like, oh yeah, that's that's gonna come up soon or that, and oh, it's it's gonna be this is gonna be a crazy arc, man. It's gonna be it's gonna be rough, but good. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. <clears throat> I feel like as soon as these guys started teaming up with the League of Villains, that's when they popped up on the radar. I mean, they needed to to evolve the. Is he wearing Deku shoes? <laughs> Deku like shoes. That's funny. 
Yeah, if he, if he just stayed a bit low key and did his villainy stuff in private while getting the vet leave villains involved, he probably wouldn't have had this investigation put on him. Ooh. That's fair. What the fuck? <laughs> oh man, he cared about his friend. Weird quirk. Now he just like puts the foot up on his table. Like, I don't fucking care. Let's go, gutsy Red Riot. Oh, it's fuck him. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Oh, that hurts. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Fuck on must be like a really established hero then. Sick. Oh, did he turn his fist into a clam? And now he's like a bird. Damn. Manifest. The manifest characteristics of things he eats in his body. That's an awesome quote. That's awesome. <laughs> I wonder if he could be able to fly if he ate something with wings like that. <laughs> I wonder if he likes the public view. No, no, he doesn't. <laughs> oh, God. Oh god. It's gonna hit. It's gonna hit Kirishima? That won't do anything to him. Ooh. 
Oh no, it hits on it, yeah. Ah, but it won't hit, it won't hurt Kishima. Skake! <laughs> No. <laughs> He's like, oh yeah, you'd be a good villain if you're just manly. Ooh. Yeah, that ain't gonna work on him, bitch. He's a good villain. Uh, villain. Good hero. It does suck when you're born with a quirk that's like villainous in intent in a sense and that's kind of how you're shunned upon in society. Like, oh, I've got a quirk that makes me makes blades come out of my body. And everybody's like, you can't be a hero of that. And then that's kind of how he grows up. It's kind of sad. Oof. Jeez. Blood type O likes meat. <laughs> Blood type B likes butterflies. <laughs> well. <coughs> He's like, oh, okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> Damn. Whatever he injected himself with is crazy. Yeah, someone will die. Oh, his eyes even harden. That's pretty cool. Oh, fuck. <coughs> Crazy, man. Yeah, because you are high. Other than coming here. <laughs> nice. Nah, you're not. You're a beast, bro. <laughs> Talking to the dude, but the sprouts tape from his arms. Yeah. Oh. Gotta love the 
Bakugo friendship with Kurishima. It's happening. It's happening. Oh, it's so fucking awesome. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, fuck yes. What a beast. Oh, damn. I ain't gonna work, bitch. That was fucking awesome. Oh. Come on, Kirishima. Sure. Fat absorption. Be a my hero. <laughs> Totoro. <laughs> yeah, like Totoro. Yeah. That's awesome. Oh well, what's this? At least, whoa. Hmm. I mean, they're villains. <laughs> Yeah, you are. Hmm. 
Yeah. It's awful. Damn, that was a good episode. All right, let's skip to the end. We've still got quite a bit more left, actually. But school can't help but relax like God. That's awesome. <laughs> Back he goes, what's a flip? <laughs> oh, you sorry I can get your provisional license, bro. Why is Deku such like a straight laced like guy, and yet he's like got this super short tie compared to everybody else? What's with that? I'm not surprised. Preview. Big free. Ooh. Sick. You have to save her. No sutra. I just want to go back actually to the beginning of this because I want to see. Um, I wasn't fully focused at the start when the two gigantic Cajun quirks were going on, but it, like the animation was like kind of good I, from what I can like recall. So let me just rewatch this bit. Yeah. Why they put such great effort into the scene? What the fuck? That's crazy. Like, I'll go back to. I mean, like, the characters aren't like the outline of the characters aren't like, you know, perfect. But it's just because it's like a fight. It's a fast-paced, well-animated f uh, fighting scene. But, like, it's all re animated really well. It's pretty sick. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, guys, that was episode five. Um, oh, really great episode. I knew it was going to be. I love, I love Kiri Shim's character as a hero as well. Um, I was thinking like that that power up ability that like unbreakable that you could attain for thirty to forty seconds. Um, he can do that now, like in his first year, and it's like. He, nothing can get through it basically and you can do that in his fair shit like and then it's the same with like tokiami with dark shadow and deku when he he's able to get to 100 percent eventually and back goes explosions which will only be more powerful and whatnot and etc like these kids man they're going to be so so strong as pro heroes he's going to be like the generation that wipes out villains easily like oh, it's gonna be amazing to see. Um, but yeah, excited for the next episode. It looks like everybody ganging up. Well, I'm not ganging up. Everybody like the hero agencies come together to 
they're gonna make a strike on the League of Villains. So if that happens in the next episode, I don't know. Um, but it's coming. But uh, yeah, guys. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction, and I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I certainly did. Thank you guys so much for watching, and peace out.